All right, guys, it's Dino Day for the Turbo Coyote. We're here at Blankenship Tuning and Performance. There's the man himself, Lee, beside the car. Let's go in here and check Austin out. We got my friend Ashton with me today. So she's what's end up going to happen? In Austin is actually having a baby, and his uh, his lady there is about to have it. There's our man Will Z, the mechanic, man, the myth, the legend. But he's got to drive. We're in Shelbyville, Kentucky. They're having their kid in Lexington, Kentucky. So he's going to drive his car to Lexington. I'm going to drive it back down, and then Ashton's going to drive my car back down to where Will's from, and so we'll go from there. But guys, I believe we're getting nearer to the time of, uh, we just got here a few minutes ago, so I want to come in here and make the intro now before everything gets going, and uh, just, you know, kind of introduce everything. But basically, you know, we're gonna, he's going to obviously work his way up. I'm sure it's not going to be too crazy at first, but we're definitely going to get as much content for you as we can, show you the numbers, see what Lee says, make sure everything's good to go, and then we'll turn it up from there if everything's good to go. So, wish us luck. On a side note, this is possibly the prettiest car I've ever seen. It's a Whipple car. I don't believe it's finished yet. Lee also has a shop. There's a Boss 302 Pro Charge car in there with some killer sound system in the rear. But check out this S550 car, guys. Come on now. Carbon fiber hood. Looks like wrapped mirrors. Definitely carbon fiber trunk lid. Looks like maybe the Anderson Composites, uh, like rear diffuser. Crazy looking welds. You know, obviously bead locks on the rear. God, they look so pretty. It's a Whipple car though, so I don't believe it's finished yet. We just popped the hood and there's nothing, there's no intake or anything on it, but it's just so pretty, guys. Dream car. Here's this Boss car. You can see there's part of it, but it's pro charged. Long set of welds as well. Looks killer. And here she is, boys and girls. Ready to get rolling. Are you nervous, my man? Very nervous. Buddy, it's over here about to die. What do you, what do you think about it, Mr. Mechanic there, Will? It's going to blow up. <laughs> Positive notes only today. We got the fans rolling. We're ready. Thousand wheel on first pass. Fifteen hundred, right? Oh. Fifteen hundred for Jay Carr. Just for him. Just for Jay Carr. All right. Sure. All right, guys. So it looks like we're starting to get her warmed up a little bit. Austin is really nervous. If anyone can't tell, look at his stance. Looks like we're having a wastegate issue at the current moment in time, not opening or something along those lines, which is kind of a known issue with on three wastegates. So we're gonna see. All right, guys. So we made a couple changes, rerouted the uh, the mat sensors and set the boost control all the way down to zero. So theoretically, it should only make 11 pounds of boost, which is what the springs are. We shall see what it does. That's all we can do. So the bumper is off now, you can see that. <laughs> is it right over there? Doesn't appear to have fixed it, but I'm not sure just yet. I think we 
may have fixed it, so we think... What do you think may have been a wiring issue or a routing issue? Because what did you do? Just like manually route it to the top of the gate right there or whatever yeah. it's called? The boost controller may still have some routing issues. Okay. Could be a slap positive. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and better. So, as you all know, in the last video, these pieces of junk failed on us, which is fairly common, you know, and it is a cheaper setup, so it's whatever. But basically, they would not open at what they're supposed to open at. So, Austin had 11 pound springs in these, and they were not even cracking until 15 pounds, fully opening between 18 and 20. So, that became an issue. Luckily, my man's here. Found a really, really good deal on some brand new precision waste gates, which as you all know, if you are a car person whatsoever, are top notch, would you say, my man? Definitely and so what size are they? So they're 46 millimeter gates instead of 44, but so, they do bolt straight up to a 44 millimeter. Flange, right. Like the so it's the same style of like flange. And so we got everything and ignore some of the zip tie stuff right now in the heat wrap. It's late right now. We just got done working on it. And we don't have, there's obviously nothing to open. So, kind of working with what we got. And we have the, uh, we have a boost gauge set up in the car, kind of real funny too. So, basically, it's running, it's running from here, correct? Yes. So, the boost gauge is running from here straight off of the like compressor up here because we have a T right here because that goes straight up through there, up through here. And so, the boost gauge is running back all the way in the car. And we don't have it wired up right now, so it like doesn't light up, but it's a manual boost gauge. We made sure it works. And so, we're going to go test the car out right now and see if the car should theoretically hold. It's got 10 and a half pound springs in these. They came with 10 and a half or 12. Austin chose to go with the 10 and a half because it should make it a little easier on the wastegate. And so, we're going to go test it out, guys. And hopefully, it should not go over 11 and a half or maybe, you know, somewhere right around there. But let's see. Gonna go on Will Boat Wide. Will Boat Wide. Boat Wide. All right, guys. So here we are. We're hoping the waste gates work. Shouldn't go theoretically past maybe barely over 11 because they can fluctuate a pound and they're 10 and a half pound springs. So we got traction off. Traction is off. All right. I'm trying to hold it the best way that I can for you all to see this. And we're gonna roll up here to this straight. See how she does. You nervous, brother? I'm nervous, man. Just hope it works. Let's hope. So that's going to wrap up this video of Awesome's Dino. And uh, so basically, in short, guys, I, I didn't get a whole lot of content in the end at the Dino because of the issues. We worked on the car. We took one of the wastegates off. Uh, I forget what you – I think it's called bench testing. Yeah, it's called bench testing. So basically, we took the wastegate off and hooked up a uh, – some sort of basically like a compression test, like where you basically – it's like a vacuum, and it like – it pressurizes the wastegate, obviously, and so Lee was telling us that the wastegate wasn't even cracking until 15 psi and didn't fully open between the, until eight between 18 and 20 psi. So he could have tuned the car for basically like you know full out max whatever the turbo would make. That turbo is supposedly rated for somewhere around 23, 24 psi. So you're probably talking 1300 wheel horsepower. But Austin doesn't have enough injector. He's only got ID 1300s on E85, so he might be able to make like 11, 1150. Lee was saying. But in short, he ended up, uh, you know, obviously instantly we drove the car home with almost zero issues. It, it had a slight idle issue, but that was obviously just because the tune, it wasn't finished. And uh, so we got those new wastegates. Data logged it for lead, did a three, four watt log, a fourth watt log, you know, and it held 11 and a half PSI with 10 and a half pound springs, which is basically right on because it's, it's allowed 
one PSI of fluctuation, if that makes sense. So it could have, you know, went less, it could have been nine and a half, or it could have went all the way up to 11 and a half. And, you know, the gauge was almost 12, but, you know, it's about right. So as long as it held was the main thing. And so we were obviously super excited about that. The car rolls out. I mean, at the dyno, it made 709. It spiked to 12.5. 4 PSI at 5,000 RPM. So you take away a pound or 0.9 of a pound of boost, but add a couple thousand RPM, you know, revving it to about 7,000. The car should be making somewhere around around that type of power, you know. So uh, it made like 709, I think 664 torque. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't remember the exact number. I apologize, but either way, it's going to be a monster. And, you know, he's going to try to turn it up to somewhere around 18 PSI here soon. And Lee is going to, you know, we, he, he's finally got a revision, but it's also his birthday, guys. So comment down below, wish him happy birthday. And we're going to go from there, guys. We've got some cool racing content, you know, coming soon with that car, obviously. And we're going to, I'm going to continue to, you know, document the build process and stuff. But guys, just wanted to finish this up here real quick so I can get it uploaded for you all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop it a like if you did. Comment down below and let us know what you think about the new setup. But until next time, guys, thank you all for the continued support. Peace out.